Hey guys, what's up? Um, I know this isn't a regular video. I usually do uh, uh, global anarchy videos, but I'm doing this for a person who wants to run a Minecraft server like I do. I'm going to show them the basics of running a Minecraft server, so it's not going to be bucket. Not you know, It's going to be the simple version of Minecraft server. So what you want to do first, actually, is you want to go to CMD. Just type CMD right there. Or terminal if you're on the Mac. I don't know about Linux and then you're gonna type in IP config and that'll show you all this kind of stuff and then um, you wanna go to where it says uh, ethernet adapter local area connection and then it will show you your default gateway now remember your default gateway 192.168.1.1 is mine I'm just gonna X out of that and then you're gonna enter your default gateway into the uh, web browser URL it'll pop up with um, authentication required and then you're gonna have to go on Google or something and then you're gonna have to pay attention to the site says Netgear whatever or whatever router you have and then you're gonna go to Google and search up default password username for this router 192.168 whatever and then I know I already know mine so you're gonna have to do that for yourself I do not know yours of course and you're gonna press OK you're gonna get into the router and you're going to go to port forwarding and port triggering if you have Netgear. I don't know about others, but you can go look that up on Google yourself too. And as you can see from Minecraft, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this so you can get a closer look. I have it service name Minecraft, TCP, and UDP for the protocol. Starting port is 25565. Ending port is 25565 as well. And then the server IP address. This is a whole other story. And, um,. You're going to have to go into CMD again, I'm sorry. Uh, and you're going to have to go ahead and go up to the uh, Ethernet again and look at your IPv4 address, and that's going to be what you're going to put in there. And uh, you're going to need static, which you can look up on Google how to turn the IPv4 into the static as well. But you're just going to put that in there, 192.168.1, and then minus 50 at the end. And then you're going to press Apply, and then it should pop up uh, number 1 or whatever number it is. As you can see, this is almost all of my server stuff. So yeah. So then once you have that done, you're just going to want to um, go to Minecraft.net. I don't know if you have to log in or not, but just go to download where it says Play Minecraft. And then you're going to go to Multiplayer Server. And then if you're running Windows, of course it says download Minecraft Server.exe. If you're running... Uh, Mac or I think Linux will help uh, be supported on this too. Yeah, on Linux and Mac OS, you're gonna want to download the .jar of it. Now, since I'm running Windows, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exe. You're gonna want to open the containing folder for this. Just gonna drag it on your desktop. And I already created a folder named Minecraft. I suggest creating a folder too. And then you're just going to put the Minecraft server into the folder or wherever you want to put it. And then you're just going to double click it. And now you can uncheck this. I'm not going to keep this so it doesn't matter. I'm going to press run. And then I'll run the Minecraft server. And you'll see all these uh, stuff right this stuff right here. And you're just going to wait for it a little bit. And I'll say done. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to type stop. This will save your Minecraft server world, so you don't have to create backups constantly. But it is always good to make a backup. And then it's taking forever for me, so yeah, there we go. And then you'll see all these other files here. They're all important, and you should not delete a single one of them. I'll tell you what they all mean after I get to the server uh, properties folder. About to say YAML. Um, <laughs> and then all these settings will appear and you could change them to whatever you want. Allow another, you should probably change that to false if you're gonna run a Minecraft server with less than 4 GB. Level name could be anything you want. Server port should be 25565. Level type default or super flat, doesn't matter. And then, uh, what else? Whitelist. I'll get to that in a second. Spawn animals, true or false, doesn't matter. Online mode. Online mode, which when it's true it uh, allows only premium users so y the users that uh, only bought the game and have the real game 
Now if you set that to false, then the users who have the cracked version of Minecraft or the illegal version of Minecraft can, uh, can get on that multiplayer server too. Now, my server is actually cracked right now, which means I set the online mode to false, be just because of the uh, the community wanted me to. So, yeah. Difficulty, I believe, one equals survival, and then two equals um, creative. I'm not really sure about that, but uh, I'll get to you. Oh no, game game mode. Here we go. This is what it is. Zero equals survival, and then one equals creative. Uh, difficulty one is uh, easy, zero is peaceful, two is uh, normal, and then three is hard. That's why. And then max players, that's just how many players can get on your server at once. So I have that to 15 on my normal Minecraft server. Spawn monsters, true or false, doesn't matter. Generate structures, that's NPC villages or... Uh, desert whatever those things are that they added recently view distances how many chunks can load at a time when you're looking somewhere message of the day in minecraft server this is what you probably want to change all the time let's put message of the day welcome to wind frontier and then you're gonna save those you're gonna start up your minecraft server again and then it um, should say done again and then you're just gonna go on minecraft multiplayer and then enter your server IP I'm gonna show you how you en how you find out your IP if you do not know how to do that already first you're gonna go on Google you're gonna type in how to f or um, what is my IP more like it and then it's what is my ip.com and then I'll say your IP address which is 68.60246101 is mine go to go to minecraft again go to multiplayer go to direct connect or add server mine is already there but I'm gonna go direct connect anyway and I'm gonna type in my IP that is my IP. Join server. You should get in your server, no problem. If you port forward, you can uh, have your friends play it too, which is uh, actually really cool. I, I like ha running my Minecraft server. It's really fun. It, uh, it's just fantastic. And this is your Minecraft server. This is your Minecraft server world. You can do slash spawn and whatever, whatever you want to do. That'll bring it. Oh, never mind. It's for bucket. Never mind. Uh, you can do other stuff, I believe, when you have bucket, but this is the simple Minecraft server. And, uh, bucket is much more harder, and, um, I believe that simple is probably the easiest thing you can really do. But, bucket has a lot of, uh, stuff on it too, so. This is how you run a simple Minecraft server, this is how you set it up, and whatever. You could do whatever you want on this, you can have your friends join it, it doesn't matter this is your minecraft server you can shut down run it whatever you want just be careful minecraft takes up a lot of ram and how to check your ram i believe you go to computer properties here we go and then it'll say install memory ram 4 gb is mine so that's how much you shouldn't go above uh... 4 gb or whatever ram you have because that'll definitely blow up your computer probably or something like that so yeah guys this is a tutorial for a person I know who wants to run a minecraft server you don't have to watch this video it's just for one other person so I hope you enjoyed the video and this is how you run a minecraft server see you later guys